it only took one day and Calico's back inside. Calico's entire tummy is blue. I think Calico landed on a sharp stick. Let's go look at the rest of the birds outside. Well, okay, so there's one. Let's see if I can point right there. And I just saw another over here, but... <sighs> We'll find them. There's, there's Goldie. Goldilocks is right there. That was Oakland Cadoba. And then, oh, are you scares. You're getting all down in scares. And the rooster named Gak is somewhere. I don't know. He'll probably pop out at, at any moment now. Oh, he's right in front of the feeder. Also, looking completely sketched out by me. So, um... I don't know if it's these sticks here, or... That one stick over there, like... Most of the birds are pretty calm. And the other thing I noticed was, um... Oh, sorry, my jacket's getting in frame. The other thing I noticed was that... When Gak the Rooster started pursuing Calico, like, Calico, instead of running away, runs in tight little circles. Like, she doesn't really know how to run away. Which is pretty stupid. Pretty stupid. <sighs> and those bricks with holes in them might still be hazards. So... Quails are, um, not very good at keeping themselves safe. If I had to guess, she probably ran up onto something and then jumped down. And so that's why I thought it would be over here. Also, the, the blood was over here. So, she's back inside trying to heal again, I guess. I don't know how I'm going to reintegrate this crazy heckin' bird that doesn't seem to have any sense in her brain she doesn't like being pursued by the rooster but like the solution to that would be to run away not run in tight little circles around him so all he has to do is pivot and get very annoyed because <laughs> he can't he, then he can't if he wanted to can't even stop you know so it's not great what what her temperament is <laughs> she's a dodo head um Yep, but in general, I think they're adjusting pretty well. The first night I came out, I didn't see any eggs. I just saw Calico's boo-boo. And at the moment, I still don't see any eggs. But I do think we have enough dry spots, because nobody was damp this morning, and it very clearly rained last night. So, it's a start. It's a start. I might add one more dry spot. And perhaps put a bigger opening in front of this. Because they don't seem to realize they can get in. I mean, brown, brown. Sorry, Oakland Cadoba. I don't know where my hand is in frame, huh? Got in just fine immediately upon entrance. But it doesn't seem like they really want to go in there. So maybe a wider opening is better. But, yep, Gax eating. I don't even know if you can see Gak because he's like the same color as the wood chips right now. But he's on the left there. Yeah, I can see his little face. And then Goldilocks is thinking about it. Thinking about it. Yep. Yep. And Oakland Cadoba is over here digging in the dirt for foods. I had to remove all of the... Um, snowdrops that were poking up in there, but it's a good time of year to find them. And that's because I am pretty sure that digging up a bulb set of those and pecking at it is why a uh, little sparkle butt got wry neck and didn't make it. So that's why I did that. Um, still working on transplanting them. 
I'm gonna get them planted around. So, yep, that's a quail update. Calico's still a hot mess, but everybody else is doing good. Huh. And Oakland Cadoba's looking at us quite quizzitively. <laughs> I don't know why I suddenly was British for that. Don't mind me. Yep. All right. Well, thanks so much for visiting the cliffside. It's over there. I hope you're having a nice day. Take care. Bye.